guys, good day. It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class is we're going to determine whether each mathematical sentence is a quadratic inequality or not. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So before answering this one class, is we need to know what is quadratic inequality. So quadratic inequality is an inequality that contains a polynomial of degree 2 and can be written in any of the following forms. That would be ax squared plus bx plus c is greater than 0. We also have ax squared plus bx plus c is less than 0. We also have ax squared plus bx plus c is greater than or equal to 0. And we also have ax squared plus bx plus c is less than or equal to 0. So these are the things that you need to remember, class. In quadratic inequality, the symbols that would be greater than or less than, greater than or equal, or less than or equal. So just remember the symbol, class, for the quadratic inequality. We have greater than, less than, greater than or equal, less than or equal. And you need to remember that A should not be equal to 0. So let me repeat it back. To know if the equation is quadratic inequality, you check the highest degree class of the equation. If you see 2, okay, the highest degree is 2. So degree of 2, it means that the highest exponent of the equation is 2. And then if you have these quadratic symbols, therefore that equation is a quadratic inequality. Alright, so let's start. So once again, once again you check the degree, you check the exponent, and then you check these symbols class. Alright, so let's start with number 1. So we have x squared plus 9x plus 14 is greater than 0. So, what would be the exponent plus the highest exponent? For this 9x, the highest exponent of this x is 1, but we have x squared. So x squared, therefore the highest exponent is 2. So we have degree of 2. Now check the symbol plus. Is greater than a quadratic inequality symbol? Yep. This greater than is quadratic inequality symbol. Once again, the quadratic inequality symbols. So this will be the symbols class for quadratic inequality. Always remember the symbols greater than, less than, greater than or equal, less than or equal. So these are the symbols. So if you have the symbols and the exponent of the equation, the highest degree or the highest exponent is 2, therefore that equation is a quadratic inequality. So this number 1 is quadratic inequality. Easy, right? So I will just put QI since we don't have enough space. So number 2, we have 3s squared minus 5s equals 1. So what would be the highest exponent? Yep, that's correct. The highest exponent is 2. Now check the symbol. Do we have greater than, less than, greater than or equal, less than or equal? Nope, we don't have. We only have equal. Therefore, this is not a quadratic inequality. We have an exponent of 2, but our symbol is not this one. The symbol is equal. Now, if it's equal, therefore, there would be a quadratic equation, not, not a quadratic inequality class. Just remember the quadratic equation class. Quadratic equation, it says ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. This is the quadratic equation class, not a quadratic inequality. If it's equal, it will be a quadratic equation, not a quadratic inequality. I hope it's clear for you, class, with, with regards to quadratic equation and quadratic inequality. So check the symbol, class. For quadratic inequality, we have the symbols. For quadratic equation, of course, that's equal. So I, I know that you remember this one, class, because go before going to quadratic inequality, the teacher will discuss the quadratic equation, and this will be the standard form of the quadratic equation. It says equal to 0. So therefore, this number 2, since this is equal, it's not a quadratic inequality. It is a quadratic equation. So I will just put not for number 2. Alright, number 3. So we have exponent of 2. Yep, we have t squared. And what will be the symbol? We have less than or equal. Therefore, this is a quadratic inequality. Alright, easy, right? Number 4 class. So number four, is it is it a quadratic inequality? Yep, we have exponent of two. We have x squared. So if you see exponent of two, that would be a quadratic. 
So, you're not sure if it's inequality or quadratic equation. So, once again, if it's the exponent is true, therefore, that equation is quadratic. But you need to check if it's quadratic equation or quadratic inequality. Now, since we have less than, therefore, this equation will be a quadratic inequality. Alright, so just check. If we have a degree of 2, yep, we have a degree of 2. We have exponent of 2. And the symbol is less than. And this less than is a quadratic inequality symbol. So therefore, this number 4 is a quadratic inequality. So, we are not told class to arrange. But if you, if you want to arrange this one, this is the thing that you will do. If the teacher will tell you to arrange, this will be easy class. Example number 4, x squared less than 10x minus 3. To arrange just... To arrange this equation, just simply transpose this 10 from right to left from this less than symbol. Also with this 3, transpose. So this will be x squared. Once again, once you transfer an equation, you change the sign. This is positive. You transfer this equation from this symbol, from this less than, you change the sign. Plus. This will be negative 10 x. Then this is negative 3. You transpose. It will be positive 3 then less than zero all right so this is just the same class so we just arranged this one into quadratic inequality equation all right so this is a quadratic inequality so we're not told to arrange class we just simply determine by getting the the exponent as well as the symbol so number five class we have exponent of two yep so we have exponent of two but the symbol is equal Therefore, this is not the quadratic inequality. So, this is not. This is a quadratic equation plus because it is says equal to 0. Alright, so number 6. Do we have exponent of 2? Nope. The exponent of, of m here is just 1. So, we don't have exponent of 2. Therefore, this is not a quadratic inequality. Not. So, number 7 class. Is it quadratic inequality? Yep, it is a quadratic inequality. Because if you multiply this one class, do you still remember class, the FOIL method? If you multiply this one, okay, if, because this is multiplication of binomials. Two terms and two terms, we call it binomials. So, if you multiply this one class, 2R times R, what will be the answer class? 2R times R. This to remember the foil, first, outer, inner, last. If you multiply this one, 2R times R, that would be 2R squared. And you will have exponent of 2. So once again, first, outer, inner, last. So first, 2R times R, that's 2R squared. Outer, 2R times 4, that's positive 8R. Inner, negative 5 times R, that's negative 5R. Then last, negative 5 times positive 4 that's negative 20 is less than 0 so we are not told class to arrange this equation we are just told to determine if it's quadratic inequality or not so we, we will just not arrange this one class but if you really want okay go ahead you can copy this one this is 2r squared then combine this one 8r minus 5r that's positive 3r then minus 20 is less than 0 so, do we have a quadratic term? Do we have, sorry, do we have an exponent of 2? Yep, we have r squared, degree of 2. And the symbol, we have greater than. And this is an quadratic inequality symbol. So, therefore, this number 7 is quadratic inequality. Is it right? So, quadratic inequality. Alright, so number 8 plus. Is it quadratic inequality? Yep. It's quadratic inequality. We have an exponent of 2 and we have this symbol. So that would be a quadratic inequality. So very easy class. Just check the degree, the exponent, and then the symbol class, and then the symbol. So number 9. Is it a quadratic inequality? Yep, that's a quadratic inequality. So once again, class, it's for number 9, it's quite tricky. Do not multiply this one class. Once again, these are binomials. 4h squared minus 9 plus 2h minus 3. So we are not multiplying this one. It's because we have this plus sign. Okay, be careful with this one class. Not the same with number 7. For number 7, 
we need to do the FOIL method because this is just multiplication. But for number 9 plus, we have plus sign. Therefore, we can just write this one as 4H squared minus 9 plus, simply copy plus 2H minus 3 is greater than or equal to 0. So this is just the same class. This is plus sign. Therefore, you can just simply remove the parenthesis class. Simply remove the parenthesis because this is plus sign. So arrange, you can combine this one, negative 9 minus 3. So there will be 4H squared plus 2H. Negative 9 combined with negative 3. So negative 9 combined with negative 3. If they have the bo they have same signs, same negative, negative 9, negative 3, simply copy negative sign, then add the numbers. So 9 plus 3, that is 12. So negative 12 greater than or equal to 0. Is this a quadratic inequality? Yep. We have degree of 2 and we have this symbol, greater than or equal. So number 9 is quadratic inequality. So we don't have enough space, I will just write it here. Quadratic inequality for number 9. Alright, and number 15 class, is it a quadratic inequality? Nope, it's not because we have this equal sign. If this is equal sign, therefore there would be a quadratic equation, not the quadratic inequality. So we have exponent of 2, but since this is equal sign, therefore this is not a quadratic inequality. So this is not. Alright, that's it class. Easy, right? easy to determine whether each mathematical sentence is a quadratic inequality or not. So I hope you learned something new today class. If you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. Have a great day class. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.